Yo, what's up, guys? It's your boy GT Swan. I'm why? Because when the hell do you think I am today, people? Today is my very first impressions of the anime known as Orient. If you guys want to know the brief synopsis of Orient, please make sure you click this little. Please make sure you click this little card right here to let you know. Because I did a trailer reaction to Orient, and I always read the uh, plot of the anime before I do the trailer reaction, so I don't need to repeat myself in this video. So make sure you click that button, and to make sure you know that you are caught to speed when it comes to the plot of Orient. All right, y'all back? Cool, let's go ahead and get to Orient. First and foremost, I love the fact that you guys are naming characters after Samurai Warriors, Sengoku Warriors, because the name of the main two characters are Musashi and Kojiro. If you guys don't know who Musashi is or Kojiro, Look up, look them up, because apparently in Samurai Warriors, they are dubbed as rivals. But in this anime, they are like childhood friends. They grew up together, they trained together. Well, they didn't train together because Musashi went on to become a minor where Kojiro stayed a Bushi. Now, don't forget in this plot, Bushis are frowned upon in this world, even though Bushis are the ones that are trying to save people. Now... Now, uh, Kojiro had a horrible upbringing, people were bullying him. Look, he's carrying the samurai sword, he's a bushi, bushis are trash, and things of that nature. Until they find an Oni, they kill him. Well, they didn't technically kill an Oni that belonged to another, uh, family of, uh, that belonged to another band of bushis. Which I also have to commemorate on that, too. Now, the one thing I am a little, the one thing I'm a little, I'm not saying I'm, I'm upset about. But the one thing I am honestly catching on when it comes to these names of people, first and foremost, Musashi and Kojiro, great way to name them. You had so, you had someone who was part of the Shingen Takeda clan, and there was someone in his group who had the last name of Sonata, Yukimura Sonata, hello. And then in the current episode episode four we actually get introduced to another band of bushi which is the cosmeta but the cosmeta seems very sketchy like the cosmeta seems very sketchy the leader is sketchy his name is helio i forgot it's cosmeta helio but the helio is what's is what's catching me and the main girl uh of this show sagumi her name is Hattori. Now, for those of y'all that do not know, Hattori Hanzo, one of the most loyalist ninjas in some of Samurai's history. And when it comes to the thing with Hattori Hanzo, because when you find out about Hattori Hanzo, you find out he really has no past. So he has no family. And it was actually revealed in episode four of Orient that Sagumi's family, well, her only family, which is her sister, died. Now, do I believe her sister is all the way dead? Mm, that's kind of iffy because Orient is that new anime shonen thing. It gives you shonen vibes. It's made by the same person who did Magi, so it makes sense. And Sagumi is reminding me a lot of Morjana from Magi. Um, I'm not catching any Aladdin or Alibaba vibes from Kojiro or Musashi. Reason being is because Aladdin and Alibaba were more in the lines of like partners that they're partners i'm not saying they're i'm not saying they're not friends i'm saying when they first started out they were just partners musashi and kojiro on the other hand grew up together in a sense like they knew each other when they were kids and they took different places and different things on what they want to do musashi wanted to be a minor but he said i only did the minor thing so i can learn my skills to become a bushi when the time comes and kojiro was like oh well i've just been a bushi my whole life and things of that nature and that's kind of how that goes i also like how in this anime it's showing how they feel about each other, showing how Musashi feels about Kojiro, showing how Kojiro feels about Musashi. Uh, Musashi's like, Kojiro, you've learned self-sufficiency. You've learned how to take care of yourself, and that's cool. But me, I'm the one that's going into battle fighting Onis and things of that nature. And Kojiro's like, well, maybe that's important. Kojiro, maybe that's more important than me catching more fish in him and things of that nature. So it's going to so it's going to become a rivalry. Now, another thing, we haven't gotten introduced to a big bad yet. In Orient, we just know that Onis are the enemy. That's all we know when it comes to Orient. Onis are the enemy. And how the opening was showing to me, it shows that Musashi is going to get a whole nother sword. Is he going to do away with the little pickaxe sword that he has? Maybe, maybe not. No one knows. 
because I haven't read the manga for Orient. I haven't, and nor do I want to. I want to go ahead and continue watching the anime for Orient because I feel like that's how I should keep it. Now, in all honesty and fairness, when it comes to Orient, I love it. I love it for what it is. I do. However, I'm not as hyped for Orient as I was Tokyo 24th Ward. Um, no, I'm not saying the anime is trash. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying when it comes to the ranking of first impressions, I would say I watch Orient on my own time instead of religiously watching it every week. So that is a, um, that's a conundrum. <laughs> But don't get me wrong, okay? Orient is a beautiful anime. It is. Like I said, the one thing I liked about the anime is the fact that you're using Japanese names. You're using Musashi. You're using Kodoro. You're using Takeda. You're using Sanada. You're using Hattori. You're using Hideo. All of those names ring a bell to me when I see their names introduced clearly because i love the warriors franchise i love dynasty warriors samurai warriors warriors rochi i even love their spinoffs i love hyrule warriors i love fire emblem warriors one piece power warriors i even love persona 5 strikers so there so that that that's the thing um about it like that's the one thing i will give this anime now yeah not a lot of not a lot a lot of action has happened yeah they fought their first only but they were technically interrupted by the uh, Takeda Bushin family, and they went on hand. They destroyed the Onis and things of that nature. Now, I'm just waiting for them to take on Onis themselves. Like, in all honesty, that's what I'm waiting for. Now, granted, I know, yeah, they're still green. They're still wet behind the ears. They don't know what to do when it comes to slaying Onis, nor do they know about the power system known as Kitetsu. So... I want to have it to where when I watch it, they know what they're doing. Now, yeah, they don't know what they're doing. Like I said, they don't know what they're doing. They're just going into the world. This is their first time going out into the world. Of course, they're going to get introduced to a lot of new things. Of course, they're going to get introduced to a lot of new things, but I don't really know. So, yeah, my ranking for Orient is I'll watch it on my own time. I won't watch it religiously every week. But, yeah, guys, that's me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't like this video, please comment below and let me know some things that you don't like about this video and tell me why I need to improve on. Criticism is always welcome. Just don't be an asshole. Also, comment below, guys, and tell me what do you guys think of Orient for your first impressions and things like that. But, of course, uh, once the fourth episodes of the animes that I've done trailer reactions for come out, I am going to be doing uh my first impression of each of these and when the anime ends you will get my last impressions so of course guys i will catch you guys later um once again it's gt's who i am watching when the hell do you think i am also one more thing i will be doing my best to bring back manga reviews because that's all i can really do i can't do reactions i'm sorry y'all i know y'all missed my seven daily scenes reactions and i apologize for that but I'm going to see if I can do the review and try to keep that same energy as I do when it comes to the uh, reactions. But as always, guys, this means G2's and Wine. Welcome to Hell Do You Think I Am. You guys, make sure y'all do what Mitch Hacks is just what you're here for. And you guys take care. And I will see you guys in the next video. And y'all take care. Peace out. Who the hell do you think I am?